Hello, this is Ilka Morse from CDLC. What I'd like to cover in this video uh, today is how to upload multiple single items to the project client using a tab delimited file. So what we're looking at right now is the file structure I have for this import. And unlike with a compound object where each single compound object must be in its own folder. When I'm doing single items like this, I can have all of my single digital files sitting right here. And then I have my Excel file and my tab delimited file. My Excel file is for working in and you would create your tab delimited file from the Excel file. You want to make sure always that your Excel file, everything in it is formatted for text, which I've done, and make sure that you save that. All of your metadata fields go across the top of the page. And in this case, each one of my single items is listed here each digital file that I have and I have five of them I've put in the title the description the creator date of original I could put in all my metadata if I wanted to but I have not done that um, what I have to put in is title I have to have this column and I have to have this column file name now this file name is the object file name this is what is telling content DM what digital file all this metadata goes to. This does not represent the metadata field file name, okay? Um, because of the way I set up our uh, project client, and I will be showing you this, um, we don't need to have that metadata field listed. However, if you don't do the setup that I suggest, in the next section, you would have to have another column here for metadata file name. So once I have all the metadata that I want in here, I go up and I'm going to save this file as a text tab delimited file. Okay, into the same folder that I have the Excel file and all of my single images that I want to go up with this. Um, I've already done this, so I don't need to do it again. So I'm going to cancel right here, but we have it. And let me cross that out. Do not work in your tab delimited file. If you have to go make changes, add, add anything, delete anything, you always work in your Excel file and then convert it to a tab delimited file. The other uh, note for any of you on Max is that the Max Excel program does not work for the tab delimited files in content DM. You must use the software on a window for that. Okay. If we go, I'm going to go back up first to um, the website because the other thing I want to show you is under for contributors under technical guides and help. We have help sheets, um, tab delimited files and multiple single items. So here is everything that I'm going over is in this help sheet document. How to set up your files, how to save, etc. Okay, that you can you can set up. So there's that. You can also find find it for uh, compound objects also. Um, so those three help sheets are sitting there for you. So let us go into the project client. The first thing uh, you need to do, I have created a um, project folder for um, called test. The very first thing you need to do is go in and met, edit your metadata template. We are only working in single items. So we're working in uh, into um, the project template general and then click on edit. And I want to make sure that file name, the metadata field file name is being picked up. The information is being picked up by content DM. So I highlight file name and do okay. 
You must do this. If you do not do this, you need to have that second file name column in your tab delimited uh, file. Okay, we're going to click on OK. We're adding multiple items. So first it asks me my import method. I'm importing using a tab delimited file. So I select that. I go to browse and there's my file in my folder. So I'm going to actually, I'll just show you. you, go to your desktop, you find your folder and that's all that will show up is your tab delimited file. You select it, click on open. Next, they want to know where are your digital files. Again, I browse for it. I go to my folder that has all my multiple single items. There, they're all sitting there and I'm going to click on OK. And next. This next question is, uh, Content DM, um, do you want to, them to generate displays of display images for your items? It sort of seems like a trick question because you do want them to. Um, however, what they really mean is if you were importing um, TIFFs, archival TIFFs, and you wanted them to make a JPEG or a JPEG 2000 for display, which would be better because usually the TIFF files are way too big and the loading of them for a lot of people on their computers or mobile devices would be too long. Uh, you would want to make the TIFFs into JPEGs or JPEG 2000s. But in this case, we're loading up JPEGs, so I'm going to do no. Um, and I'm going to click on next. This is uh, the map mapping of your metadata fields. And what this allows you to do is if you did not have all of the metadata fields listed on that um, Excel document, which then was converted to a tab delimited document, you could take whatever imported fields you did have and map them to the correct field here in collection fields. In this particular case, we have the same names in our import field as we do in our collection fields. So they're all been mapped already for us. Notice file name is mapped to object file name. So this is not the metadata field file name. File name. We don't even have that here. Okay. And we click on next. Uh, this is a summary of what we're doing. Uh, we're using a tab delimited file um, and we are importing multiple single items. Okay. And we're going to add our items. So there are five, we've got no errors, no warnings, our five items, and we click on close. And here are all of our items now. And at this point, you can start putting in your metadata. So, but you can see that all the metadata that we had in there um, has been added. And because file name for our metadata field is here because of the way we set up our metadata templates over here. So then what you would proceed to do is open each one of these, add the metadata that you need to add here. Uh, let me just make sure we have at least the minimum so I can up, show you upload. So we have title, which we need. Uh, we need file name. We need the right statement and we need um, collection ID. Let me find collection ID right here, which is digital collection would be dummy tests. So we have those. So that's really the minimum that I need. Let me also, I suppose, library council. We'll put that in for right now. You would obviously put in much more metadata that I'm putting in, but this is just to show you. I'm going to save and close, and I'm going back to. Um, the spreadsheet view, and I want to make sure I have date of digital. I have my identifiers. Make sure my collection ID goes all the way down. They're all in the same collection. Digital collection, all the same. Library Council, all the same. The right statements I have and the file name. Okay, and I would select all my items and click on upload for approval. Down here in the bottom left-hand corner is showing you uh, the items being uploaded. You can go up to the admin page by clicking on administration contact 
DM, but I already have that open. And so I'm going up, going to the administration page. Let me refresh. This is taking longer than it has. Let me, uh, let me click out of this and click into approve again. There we go. Okay, we have five pending items. We didn't add any new control vocabulary. However, I want to point out that if I had, I definitely do not want to use the full approve Q, approval Q action section because if I did, none of my control vocabularies would be, control vocabulary terms would be added to my control vocabulary lists. I always use the detailed approval Q action section and I have no new control vocabularies to add. So I select all five of my items and I click on approve, go to index and I'm gonna index now. And once my, um, once I have finished indexing, because remember it's a two-step process when you add material to uh, New York Heritage through the admin site, it's approve first and then index. If you do not index, you will not see your new terms. I've been finding that the index has been taking a little longer than normal uh, this week. So um, once the indexing has stopped, you can go up to view collection and see how your items are displayed. If you have any questions about this material, uh, please contact your CDLC staff and also remember that in the New York Heritage website, there are help sheets on this same subject. Thanks.